Okay, uh, I'm going to tell you the steps for bottling a batch of beer. And uh, the first thing I did was move my carboy, my secondary, uh, up to the kitchen counter and got it up high enough so that I can get a good siphon into my bottling bucket. And obviously you want to do this a little ahead of time because if you kick up any sediment off the bottom, you want to give it a chance to resettle back down again before you start siphoning. Uh, a couple other things you're going to need is your dextrose, which is corn sugar, uh, about 55 bottle caps at least. You don't want to start bottling and find out you, you're out of caps. Uh, you're going to need your sanitizer, which I use uh, one step, which is a no rinse sanitizer. Obviously you're going to need some uh, tubing to do your siphoning to the bottling bucket. And I like to use a, uh, an auto siphon for that, we'll see how that works. And I find that uh, the best container to do a lot of sanitizing, in, including the bottles, is a wallpaper gluing tray, which is uh, nice and long, but shallow enough so you don't use too much sanitizer. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is sanitize the spigot. Take a one tablespoon of sanitizer for every gallon of warm water that you add. So I'll let the spigot soak in the sanitizer for about two minutes and then I shook it out and uh, installed it back in the bucket and the trick I like to use is uh, to wrap a clean sandwich bag around the spigot and hold it on with a rubber band and that just ensures that it doesn't get uh, anything on it while you sanitize the rest of the bucket and I also topped it up to about three gallons so I added another two tablespoons of one step around a little bit and uh, just let it sit for a minute or so and then do it again. All right, I poured my sanitizing solution out of the bucket and replaced the lid to keep contaminants out. And I now poured it into this wallpaper tray and I have my auto siphon in here uh, being sanitized. I also have a spoon uh, for when I want to stir my beer with the priming solution just to make sure it's fully mixed. And um, I also have some uh, vinyl tubing. And okay, I have uh, about a cup and a half of water in the pot now. I'm going to bring that to a boil. And you want to measure out exactly three quarters of a cup of dextrose to add to this. I use a, a quarter, quarter cup measuring cup. I'm going to add three of these. So you want you want to boil for about five to ten minutes basically just to make sure that it's all sanitized. You gotta watch it, you don't want it to burn to the pot either. So now it's been boiling for about five minutes and so I'm gonna turn off the heat and uh, you should let this cool just a little bit. I mean it is 212 degrees. Uh, what I like to do is just submerge it into a little bit of ice water uh, just to get the temperature down a little. So I drape, I drape my uh, hose into the bucket kind of in a circle so that as it's the beer is transferring you end up getting a swirling effect which will stir it and uh, it's as simple as pushing down on the siphon rod for two pushes and uh, you already started the siphon. So you can see that it's actually swirling swirling the beer as it's transferring so it's actually mixing with the priming sugar pretty well. So as you get towards the end, you want to tip the carboy towards where the siphon is actually sitting on the bottom. Now that the beer is transferring into the bottling bucket, it's going to take a little while to do that, so now's a great time to start sanitizing your bottles. This is another good reason why people start kegging sooner than later. You put your bottling bucket so that the spout dangles off the edge of the counter over the dishwasher door. You don't have to worry about cleaning up spills. The way this spigot works is put the bottle all the way on. I turn it on a little bit so that the bottom fills up and then we open it up full until you see it come to the top 
and then I slowly back off once it gets very to the very top. Now, pull it down a little bit, you can see that the beer still fills up the tube. And when you completely close this, there's an air brake here, and it dispenses the rest of the beer so it doesn't drip out. So now I have it filled to about an inch of the top. So I filled a couple bottles here. Uh, obviously, the 16 ounce is a plastic bottle, so I take my sanitized cap and just twist that on, and it's good. Now, to cap, you take your sanitized cap that's uh, uncrushed and place it on your bottle. And you take your capper, center it on there, and then just give it a good push down as far as it'll go. And of course, that seals it no problem. 